hi all in this session we will going to discuss about system error log events um, components in a test bench need to communicate with each other to exchange the data and check output values of the design so for that system error log provides three mechanisms such as events mailbox and semaphore so these are these are all comes under ipc ipc means inter process communication so in these three mechanisms uh, in this session we are going to discuss about only system error log events okay in today's session we will be discussing system error log event examples blocking events and non blocking events and event triggered using two operators at operator wait construct and that implication operator that is used to trigger the event and we will discuss the difference between at and wait construct first we will see what is event events are static objects useful for synchronization between the processes i told you that in test bench there are multiple components that components are communicate with each other for exchange the data so that uh, this events will act as a synchronization between the processes so in this event operation we have a two stage one process will trigger the event and the other process will wait for that event to be triggered we, ha we have a two stage here that means suppose if you have a two processes one process will trigger the event and the other process will wait for that event to be triggered this triggering event will be uh, 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 done by the done by using a two operator called one is blocking event and another one is non blocking event you can see right that implication operator both two operators are used to trigger the event this one and this one and for waiting in, this is the first stage triggering an event is the first stage and the second stage what waiting for that event to be triggered this waiting process will be done by using the at operator or wait construct this or this wait or uh, wait construct or at operator okay also this events can be assigned or compared to other event variables like we can um, we can assign the events like suppose if we have a two events event e1 and e2 we can assign the events e1 is equals to e2 and also event can be passed means passed to the arguments like suppose if we have a functions or task or queue we can pass these events also we can uh, allocate the memory for that event event is equals to null means it is memory is not allocated um, event is pointing to the null object so we can assign null to the event okay next we will discuss these three types first we will see the uh, that operators which are uh, all the operators we will use in the events okay first one is blocking event blocking event means this operator is used to trigger an event that unblocks all waiting processes due to this event and this event this operator is also called as instantaneous event because uh, if we use the event a named event with this operator it will trigger that event instantaneously so this first operator is called a instantaneous event this is used to trigger an event and the second one is this is also uh, used to trigger the event but this operator is non blocking event non blocking event means it will not block the processes okay this operator is used to trigger the non blocking events this will be understood once you once we go to the code first we will see the uh, operators description and third one is at operator this at operator is used to block the process till an event is triggered and also this is an edge sensitive operator uh, edge sensitive means you know i hope you know in always block uh, we will use this at operator have you remembered like always at passage clock means this at operator is a edge sensitive operator hence waiting for an event should be executed before triggering an event 
to avoid blocking the waiting processes means this at operator will um, at operator will block the process until and unless the event is triggered after triggering the event only it will unblock the processes otherwise it will not unblock the processes that's why uh, this at operator uh, leads to the race condition but in wait operator it is not like at operator wait construct is uh, you should not tell wait operator this is the wait construct okay sorry the wait construct uh, construct is similar to the at operator except it will unblock the processes we have see uh, i told you that at operator block the processes until the event is triggered but wait construct is not like that it will unblock the process even though the event is triggered and uh, also it will unblock the process even if triggering an event and waiting for an event happen at the same time means triggering an event and waiting for an event both ha uh, happen at the same time also it will unblock the processes it will not block any processes but in at operator there will be a blocking this will be understood in a code okay In these events, we can see the three types. First one is an event is triggered after waiting for the event trigger. Type A is event is triggered after waiting for the event trigger. Means um, we have a two processes. One is event trigger, triggering an event. Another process is waiting for that event to be triggered. That second process will be executed first. Then only first process will be executed. This is the first type. In second type, an event is triggered before waiting for an event to be triggered. That means in first processes, in first process we will trigger the event. In second process we will wait for that event to be triggered. Right? That first process will be executed first, and waiting for that event is happened at the second time. Means next. This is the second one. And in third type C, an event is triggered at the same time as the waiting for the event trigger. Both two processes, uh, triggering an event and waiting for an event, both uh, both will be uh, happen at the same time. These are all the three types. We will see how the output will be. Means we will get different outputs for uh, these three types. Okay. Yes, you can see right. This is the first type, type A. An event is triggered after waiting for the event trigger. This is the model, model event example. Here, I am taking one event. E1 is the handle for this event. E1, okay. Event E1, and I have a two processes here. Process A. This is a task. Task process A. Why I am taking? Why I am giving a task is here we have a timing delay. When we are introduced the timing delay, that time we will be having task only. Functions cannot allow the timing delay, right? So uh, I have a one process, two processes: process A and process B. In initial begin, uh, within the fork join loop, we are uh, writing the process A and process B. Both two processes executed simultaneously. Parallelly, it will execute. Both processes executed the zero simulation time only since it is a fork join. Fork join, you know, I think uh, after the com after completion of the two processes, this block will be um, ended. Okay, let's see the processes. What is there in process? In process A, we have a two display statement. In process B, we have we have a two display statement. In first one, be, um, after 10 nanoseconds, we are displaying one statement called before triggering event even in that time only at 10 nanosecond only we are triggering an event and after triggering event even this is the statement with the triggering an event okay in second process we have a two statements first one is waiting for the event even and here we have a at operator means here it is waiting for the event to be triggered after event is triggered only this process will be this is called a process right this is the statement 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 is nothing but on process only 
this um, statement will be executed once the event is triggered i will tell the execution manner okay first it will goes to the initial begin loop here what we have done process a and process b so first this will executed first process a both at the both started at the simultaneously means both will be executed parallelly but first uh, what process which process is there now that will be that statement will be executed first it goes to the process a here but here we have a 10 nanosecond in process b we don't have any timing delay right so this statement will be executed first zero simulation time this waiting for the event even will be executed first then that's the same timing only at the same time only it will look at here at e1 at e1 means what it is waiting for the event to trigger that's why it will not un it will not display this statement why because it is waiting for the event to trigger after triggering the event only it will unblock this processes i told you right it will this at operator will block the processes until the event is triggered this is the what that statement indicates so after displaying this statement it will come to here 15th line here the event is waiting for this e1 to be triggered that's why it will not display this statement until and unless the event is triggered after this after the 14th statement it will go to the process a okay in process a it will after 10 nanosecond it will execute this before triggering event e1 statement will be executed in the same time this event e1 is triggered now after displaying this statement event e1 is triggered now after triggering event e1 this statement will be executed now it again comes to the process b because now the event is triggered so it comes to the process b and now this uh, statement will be executed now this at operator is there now this will unblock the processes because uh, the event is triggered it was waiting before and now the event is triggered that's why it is unblocking the processes this is the correct manner means we will get the correct output here i will run the code yes at zero this is the time at zero time waiting for the event even is uh, executed at zero time this statement will be i told you right here we have a 10 nanosecond that's why it comes to this process b at zero simulation time this process will be executed after that it comes to this process but here it is waiting waiting for the event to trigger that's why after displaying this first statement it will go to the process a and after 10 nanosecond it will display this statement c second line it displays after 10 nanoseconds at 10 nanoseconds it will display the before triggering event even this statement will be executed after the, at the same 10 nanoseconds here you can see at the 10 nanoseconds the next statement because here the event is triggered after triggering event even after triggering event even this will be executed now event is triggered so it goes to task b here it was waiting for the event to trigger already event is triggered now it will unblock this process means this event e1 is triggered statement will be executed at 10 nanosecond here it's uh, 10 nanosecond uh, this statement will be executed right so uh, again it goes to the task process b here at a 10 nanosecond only this will uh, unblock this process so this statement will be executed this is about event is triggered after waiting for the event trigger means after waiting for the event only this event is displayed right this statement will be executed right after waiting for an event only an event is triggered first it goes to here then only it triggered the event right so this is the what an event is triggered after waiting for the event trigger next we'll see this type 2 Yes. this is the type b what what it is an event is triggered before waiting for the event trigger 
means one in we have two processes if this is the same code as uh, same code as previous code but the difference is the timing delay okay you see correctly means an event is triggered before waiting for event trigger means this will be executed first event trigger is executed first then the waiting for an event will be executed that is what the statement is saying an event is triggered before waiting for event trigger so it does not come to process b it, it first goes to here only display statement 1 like before triggering event even will be executed first because this is a zero simulation time this is the 10th nanosecond right so uh, this is the parallel execution that's why first it will display the zero simulation uh, statement so that this statement will be executed first at the same time this event will be triggered this event will be triggered and this statement will be executed before triggering event even and after triggering event even these two statements will be executed after that it goes to the process b here we have a 10 nanoseconds delay after this 10 nanoseconds this statement will be executed because here do we don't have this at even right so this statement will be executed without any problem but come to the 40 second line 40 second here what it is waiting for the event to be triggered how the event should work means first waiting for an event happens uh, should be happen then only uh, triggering an event should happen but here what the case first triggering an event happens first then waiting for an event is happening so it should not happen like this if it happens like this it will not unblock the processes because it is still waiting for the event to be triggered but what event is already triggered only so this is the race condition this is not the race condition like it is waiting and it will not unblock this process because it assumes that the process is not triggered that's why it will not unblock this process you will see the uh, you will see this in output yes here we got only three statements see in previous example we have a we had a four statements right but here we will get the three statements why because this statement will be not executed why means first uh, always first waiting for an event should be happen uh, uh, then only this triggering an event should happen otherwise it will not unblock the processes so here also same case first this before triggering an event zero simulation statement will be executed in the same zero simulation only the event will be triggered before waiting the event will be triggered so after triggering event event will be executed at the zero simulation time only so here you can see the second statement uh, after the after triggering event event after that it goes to the process b and here we have a 10 nanoseconds so after 10 nanoseconds this statement will be executed waiting for the event event you see 10 nanosecond waiting for the event event this statement will be executed but 40 second line at even here this is the main here it is waiting for the event to be triggered but it is waiting but already that event is triggered so this statement will not be unblocked that means this uh, statement will be not displayed so we don't get the uh, this statement in output we got only three uh, outputs this is what the type b an event is triggered before waiting for event trigger okay